Hello everyone, this is Ton Ton Review right here. Today I'm changing my review form to a real voice. So let me know what do you think. This is MP45 G1 Bumblebee from the original G1 cartoon over here. This is a Bumblebee 2.0. As you can see, this is still the form of the car, which is a much small, smaller car as well. They've done an excellent job at recreating the car. You can see some details over here. Here's the size comparison between the, this one and the 1.0 MP21 version of B. As you can see, smaller in size. This one is longer. And the back of the car, the size. This is a really small car, really smaller car. It, it looks like a two seats car compared to the previous one. The Autobot symbol is bigger, I suppose. The back section, the down, and the size. Here are a few more bees. This is the uh, Masterpiece Movie Bumblebee from the spin-off one and the Deluxe one. Still, this is the smallest one ever. This is comparison with Optimus Prime. Really small car compared to the trucks. This is MP10, I think, and this is Hot Rod. Really small, short cars. And of course, we can still put bees into Optimus trailer. Just open the door, like, oh, sorry, it takes me a little, a little bit. Open up, here we go. Pull the panel down, like so. Put them in, redo the whole thing, put the panel up. And close the door and now we have to be around with Optimus like so to transform B to his robot mode is pretty complex since this is a masterpiece let's do it first we flip this panel out then we turn this two piece inside next we untap this whole section over here and and then we come to this part over here and untap the front section of the car and bring it down. This section here is, will be the leg of the robot mode. Open that up. Go down from the leg. Flip this panel up. Extend it. Rotate it, close this panel, bring down this piece over here. Now come to the foot. First we bring the, the bring this down and then we turn this section here, flip it, turn Turn the wheels inside as we turn it slowly, bring it down to lock it into place. Put this in, flip it down, and close this panel up. And we have the first leg complete. The second one, same to the first one, open it, put this piece back down, extend it. Rotate it, rotate it, close it, bring this up front, same goes with here, Rot turn it, lock it into place, put this piece down, flip it, Done, and then we have the two legs completed. Now to the upper bodies of bees. First we find the two tabs over here. There we go, untap those. Bring the whole section up. Bring the whole section. Push this down, reveal the arms of bees. 
now we have to push this whole arm section up front. So to do that, we slide this chest piece over here through the backpack. Push them through like so. There we go. Push it out front a little, more, a little bit more. Flip the two wheels. Open this, this up. Split the arms, and then we, we can see the head. Ready? Flip out the head. Rotate the waist. And there we go. And now. Flip these wheels into the body. This could be the main body of bees. This one here, like right here, like so. This one the same. Close it. Flip it inside, and there we go. In this robot mode, we won't have any wheels to show because they've done an excellent engineering and high all of them so away. Lock it into place. And now for the backpack, we simply push, push this up, close it, and slide it right here. There's a tab underneath, just tap it in, and lock it into place. For this part here, turn them up, open, and there's this piece, this small yellow piece, rotate it, just rotate it put it up this mimics the spare wheels of the cars this one right here close it like so just tuck that in over there tuck it in and there we go now just for the arms bring down the arms be careful at this point since the arms has a really small joint. Flip the panel, bring down the arms. Like I said, be careful. Flip down the panels, bring it down, bring it down like so. A little bit careful. And there we go. And now we have MP45 Bumblebee completely transformed into its robot mode standing right over there this is a really nicely done figure but they have done a terrible job at hiding those cables on the back here's some more details of bees the face articulation the face can look up that far look down that far there's another joint here for him to look to look up look down the face can do a 360 turn. There's a screw over there as well. They could have hide it, but they didn't. As for the arms, bending up front, bending up, down, second joint, more bending up. Three sixty spin. It's in the shoulder. Here's a basic bend over 90 degrees. Extend it a little bit. Just extend it a little bit and we have a full bend. Really nice full bend over here. Swivel joint, 360 swivel. and a swivel of the arm in the hand as well. Jointed arms, hands with four fingers, the knuckle. Waist can barely, his waist can barely spin due to the cables on his back. That is bad, that, that just bad engineering to be honest. For the, for the legs, 
see so just purely, purely bad engineering flip out this panel over here for some other for some more degree of articulation here's the full kick up front decent kick decent kick there we go the leg bend this is an easy 180 bend this is what we expected from a masterpiece figure actually with a thigh swivel really tight thigh swivel close this down as for the knee band one and two really nice bend at the knee the, 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 the knee is double jointed it's really really nice bend go we have an ankle pivot really nice pivot let's join here so we can bring the foot down down a little bit standing up here's his spike he comes with the figure really nicely done figure as you can see the shirt, the jeans, the yellow boots as well. The hair is done in grey, a brown, sorry my brown color. The head you can do a 360 rotation. Look up and down a little bit. The arm can open up. 360 spin no elbow joint bend here on the waist on the crotch the leg you can kick up that far that's the kick pretty high kick the knee bend really nice knee bend here we go a really nice come along figure we have spike. And we have his gun, just a simple piece of plastic, molded in gray plastic. Nothing too special, the average looking guns. Just two taps over there so we can put it in. Just, just open the hands, slot the taps in, like so, close the finger. And we can hold it very securely without any problem. And he also comes with this orange effect part just put it plug it in right there easy and now we have to be shooting at someone it's a really nice addition to the movie masterpiece figure we just we have some beam effect and we also come with alternate face of bumblebees it's a smiling one very nicely done details Another one with a bigger smile, I think. To remove the uh, face, you just flip his head, get the fingers there, and boom, you got the face removed. And there's a tap over there. Just simply tap it in. Oh, sorry guys, I made a mistake. Yeah, the half of it, the other half of the face is still in there put it out sorry guys Let's just put it out like that and push that back and now we have to be shooting at someone while he's smiling that's all his accessories here's some size comparison with the first the 1.0 bumblebee as we can see this one is more movie accurate with the better shade of yellow the smaller torso but the backpack is more, you have more cables at the backpack and the head is bigger with the smaller horns with better details on it like I said the Autobot symbol is also bigger and the shade of color is way better than the previous one and also shorter another spin 
as for the wheels over here the uh, the OB has a bigger wheel since it's me make a real wheels not like just a piece of smaller piece of plastic like this one over here no sorry my joint is not really good since this is just a uh, here 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 it is with G1 Optimus iron high and size wide yeah he's the smallest I think this is cartoon accurate since B is actually the smallest Autobot in G1 I think I don't know I don't watch G1 that often and here's some sideways comparison really small Autobots compared to Prime and the others and now this is a transformation from the robot mode back to car mode Uh, if you have any uh, thoughts on this on this figure, please make a comment below, and I will try to answer all of them. Another thing, if you think this figure has a loose joint, uh, actually this is a product sample they sent me for the purpose of this review. So I hope that the quality of the actual finished product when they release this will be better. Uh, however, it is nice try uh, talk to you talk to you guys in this first talking review normally I use the software to talk I want to try something new thanks a lot for watching this review guys